Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am finally bringing you my June favorites. I know we're a little bit late, we're a little bit behind schedule, it is like mid-July right now, but I really wanted to show you guys all of the products that I have been obsessed with in the month of June, and yeah, I figured better late than never, but never late is better. Real quick before we get into the favorites, if you're just checking out my channel for the first time, please make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already. I post a ton of videos and I'd love for you to join the family. And also if you guys do enjoy my favorites, my monthly favorites, then please give this video a like and let me know that you guys enjoy them. Um, but without further ado, I don't want this video to be too long, so let's jump in to all of my favorites. So the first products I have to share with you guys are by Too Faced. This is their new Born This Way Naturally Radiant Concealer. I first got this at Gen Beauty Toronto. When I went, they were giving out free samples. Um, and I got the shade Tan, which is this one over here. You guys have seen me use this in a couple of my tutorials already. Um, and I wasn't too sure about it, only because the only thing that I could use this for was highlighting, since it was so light. But I was able to get my hands on all the other three deeper shades. This is in Deep Tan, Dark, and Deep. Um, and I, I've just been obsessed with these basically like these have replaced my Maybelline fit me concealer and you guys know how I feel about that already like I literally use that in every single tutorial probably for the past year but I am just so impressed with these they are the most naturally radiant concealers like they're called that and that's what they honestly are they're just so smooth they go on so creamy they're really full no well, they're not full coverage they're more of like a medium but buildable coverage and on days where I don't want to wear foundation this makes it super easy because they are so light and creamy and I use the shade dark which is actually my skin tone and I just you know conceal all the areas that I want to conceal basically blend it out with a beauty blender and call it a day and honestly just makes your skin look flawless so if you guys were um, tempted to try this out I'd highly recommend them they're amazing I don't know if I mentioned this but these all smell like coconut they are so amazing like they smell good they feel good they're just an all-around great product so the next product is also by Too Faced this is their dark chocolate Soleil bronzer in deep tan and this is basically just a matte bronzer and I have been loving bronzing lately. I honestly don't even contour too much. I did contour today because I feel like it matched the more dramatic look that I'm wearing. But honestly, on an everyday basis, I just use a stippling brush and like swirl it in there and then just like bronze my entire face. I'm wearing this today, so as you can see, it's really nice and kind of warm around the sides of my face and everything. This is just the perfect shade for my skin tone, I feel like. It's not too red, it's not too orange, it's not too yellow. It's just like the perfect bronzing shade. Now the only thing that is unfortunate is if you're any deeper than me, it probably wouldn't show up on you. Like, it just shows up on my skin tone. Um, as you can see, like, it just shows up. So I feel like if anyone's a little bit darker, it may not show up. But this smells like chocolate. Hence the name Dark Chocolate Soleil. It is just the best bronzer ever and I'm so happy, so happy I have it and it works for me. The next two products are actually from the drugstore. This is the Essence Forbidden Volume Mascara in their Rebel collection. I don't know. Um, and this is Forbidden Volume Mascara without the Rebel. So I don't really know why they have the same name. I'm still trying to figure it out. But one says Rebel and one says nothing. It just says what it's called. Forbidden Volume. Um, but basically... These mascaras are amazing. They are the best from the drugstore that I honestly have ever tried. Like, I love this so much. I'll show you guys the wands. But that's what the first wand looks like. It's more chubby. It reminds me a lot of the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I'd say this is probably the closest drugstore dupe to it. Um, the wand is a little bit different, but I feel like it gives the same effect. I still prefer the Better Than Sex mascara a little better, but if you're on a budget, I would honestly try this. It's so amazing. This one's a little thinner. As you can see, like, it's not as fat as the other one, um, but it still, it just makes your eyelashes look so long and voluminous, and it's just so amazing, and I'm so happy that I found this at Gen Beauty, because this is definitely going to be my new favorite mascara that I'm going to keep repurchasing it, um, that I'm going to keep repurchasing. So, if you guys were... I don't know, wanting a new drugstore mascara. I feel like these are out already. Hopefully they are, so you guys can check them out. Essence is a really, really affordable brand. I don't know exactly how much these retail for, but it's probably like around $5. I don't know, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. 
but they are amazing and I definitely wanted to mention them because I've been wearing them a lot in the month of June. The next products that I wore to death in June <laughs> were um, the Tarte Lip Sculptor. This is basically a lipstick and a lip gloss in one. So lipstick, or sorry, the lip gloss is on this side and the lipstick is on this side. I have the shades Sass, um, Renegade and VIP and these are just the ones that I've been using the most in the month of June. Um, I never thought I would be a gloss person. Honestly, like all I ever wear is mattes, but in the month of June, I kid you not, I was wearing glosses way more than I wore mattes and I just like, I'm obsessed with this formula. Like they're, they're not like intensely pigmented, but they're enough so that it shows up on your lips if that makes sense. Um, I haven't been really using the lipstick side, I've just been like using the glosses, but the lipsticks are the exact same shades as the glosses so it's really really nice and handy um, if you want like a lipstick and then a lip gloss over top and these are the three shades and honestly I feel like my favorite is definitely VIP. It's a really, really pretty sort of corally peach nude and it just looks great on like women of color. I'll give you guys a swatch. Hopefully the camera picks it up. That's kind of what it looks like true to color. There it is. Like it is pretty pigmented, but when you put it on your lips, it's not like an intense like color payoff. Like it has enough color so that you don't have to wear a, lip a lipstick underneath, but like not too much. I don't know. It's just like the best combination in my opinion and they're so glossy and they last such a long time like I'll put this on in the morning before I go to work and I don't have to reapply until after like lunch or something well I was fasting in June so I honestly didn't even reapply until I left work um, but I just I love these and I highly 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 recommend these duos from Tarte also I'll have everything linked down below so it's super easy for you guys to browse through and learn more information on or just purchase directly from the link so I got you guys, I got you. So the next favorite is something you guys have definitely seen me talk about a lot on my channel. This is the Zoeva Cocoa Blend Palette and in the month of June I just randomly picked this up and realized how much I love it. Um, this is basically just like a summer girl's dream because it has like really really nice bronze colors and then this gold right here, pure ganache, so bomb, so beautiful. I used this in my last makeup tutorial so I'll have that linked actually right I think it's right over here. I'll have that linked right over here if you guys want to check it out and see how these look on the eyes. But the Zoeva Cocoa Blend Palette, guys, it is so amazing. If you guys were thinking of getting it, I highly, highly, highly recommend them. The next thing is also a palette. This is the Becca Jaclyn Hill uh, Face Palette, and this is what it looks like. I'm sure a ton of you guys have seen it already because everyone and their mama has this already. Um, but I've just been, I, I mean, I love Jaclyn Hill. I love Becca, and... Their collaborations never disappoint other than the eye palette. I heard a lot of shit about that. But like I didn't get the eye palette because I didn't really like I didn't really like how it looked to begin with. But this is goals. Like goals in a palette on goals. This color right here, Prosecco Pop, she made this in mind of women of color um, because a lot of people were saying how Champagne Pop wasn't too black girl friendly. In my opinion, I honestly think it is. I think it's a gorgeous gorgeous sort of um, champagne color but I will swatch um, what's it called Prosecco pop right over here so you guys can see as well it is oh wow that was a horrible ass swatch <laughs> let me try that again that is Prosecco pop over here so it's a really just nice gold color and I've been loving to mix them I've been loving wearing Prosecco on its own and it's just it's an amazing palette all together because you have like three blushes as well and the mirror on it is like so clear like it's better than any mirror I own honestly it's it's bomb I would recommend this palette but it is in my giveaway so if you guys want to enter my giveaway still it's open till July 18th shameless promo I will have it linked down below as well as right over there the next thing is also by Becca but this is just a little mini of their um, shimmering skin perfector their highlighter in opal and it's the one that I'm wearing today I was very hesitant on getting opal because I heard that it doesn't really look good on women of color because it's more on the cool tone side um, and it's more like icy sort of but honestly guys like I've been rocking this I love it so much and I honestly love I got this as a freebie Sephora always has these sort of things like you can either get the liquid opal or like the powder opal if you spend like $25 or more that's why I always shop online like I never shop in store anymore but I got this when they were having one of those deals and it's just so so beautiful it gives the most intense highlight ever like do you see this nose highlight 
is bopping, I know. The next favorite of the month has definitely been the Makeup Geek um, blushes, the newly formulated ones. I believe these launched in May. It was either May or June, I honestly don't know, but I got them in June and I've been obsessed with these. These are the two colors that I've been wearing the most. This one is in Chivalry, which is a really, really pretty uh, matte sort of terracotta brown sort of color. It's just, it's so beautiful on deeper skinned women. If there's one shade I tell you to get, actually, I don't really know because both of these are really pretty. Oh, I don't know, but if you want one shade that will go with everything guaranteed, I recommend Chivalry. It is like a must own, like you need this blush in your life. It is so pigmented, so creamy, it's just everything you want in a blush basically, and it like lasts, it actually lasts. That's what it looks like swatched. So, so pretty. I'm not actually wearing this today, I'm wearing this one, which is Desire. Um, and it is just a really, really pretty plum sort of color, I guess I could describe it as. I'll give you guys a swatch. Oh, I die every time I swatch this. That is what Desire looks like over there. And these are just the best blushes, honestly, that I've ever tried. Um, I think they're better than MAC. They're way more pigmented than MAC. They're way more um, accessible. Like, I mean, price-wise, like, they're really inexpensive. And it's just, I love the packaging. Like, it comes with a mirror. It's just like, and the mirror is actually bomb. Like, it reminds me of the Becca mirror. It's just really, really good. And highly recommend these blushes. And the last beauty favorite is the Ben Nye Banana Powder. Um, I know a ton of people know about this already, but I stopped using it in the winter just because it's a little more drying than my RCMA No Color Powder. I've been using that a lot in the winter. But come June, July, August is hella hot out, and you don't want to be creasy mess. And I just really like how this highlights. I like the undertone in it. Um, and I've just been using this a lot in the month of June. Honestly, there's not much I could say about this because I've talked about it a lot on my channel, but basically I just use it to break, bake my under eyes and my smile lines and pretty much everywhere. And it gives a really nice golden sort of glow. I don't know, I just love it and I love baking, especially for the summer because it does kind of like soak up all the oils. It's, it's a bomb.com. So the next thing I have to show you guys is not a joke. It's probably like the most random favorite you will ever see in um, a monthly favorites video but this is <laughs> I'm always laughing just like telling you guys this is the clubhouse peri peri one step seasoning I just had to tell you guys about this because it is so amazing and I feel like I would be betraying you guys for not telling you guys how amazing this is like I said to you guys a lot it's just honestly the best seasoning that I've ever tried <laughs> I can't be serious about this because I'm like talking about it as if it's like a makeup product, but it's just straight up peri peri sauce and I should not have smelled that. <coughs> On the front it has like lime and onion and it's it's kind of spicy, it's very garlicky, 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 and it's just like the best flavoring that I've ever tried and if you guys are looking for a flavoring then I would recommend this one because it's amazing. I got mine at Walmart. I put it on everything. I put it on my fries. I put it on my, um, I put it on pierogies the other day and they were really, really good. Um, I put it on my chicken before I bake it. I literally put this on everything I possibly can because it's so amazing. You guys need it in your life. And if you get it, write in the comments down below how amazing it is because I want to know. I, j I just want to know. Please tell me. Thank you. But anyways, that is the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed learning about my June favorites. If you guys have any favorites of the month, then please let me know down below. I'd love to check them out. I love learning about new products. So if there's any products that you have that are holy grail products to you and that you've been obsessed with in the past month or so, then leave it in the comments down below so I can check it out as well. But yeah, that is it. Give this video a like if you guys enjoyed it. And if you're just checking out my channel for the first time, make sure to subscribe down below for more videos. And I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye!